Hi, everybody. Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, driver. <laughs> However, I want to be very clear that is not me in that last video. And my guess is you have really never driven that way either. But I think we can all relate to what it feels like to be rushed, to be moving around really quickly. We've got something to do. We've got a lot of things to do. We're late. We don't have time to do them. And we get into this rushed mode. And I think what the problem there is, is, is that it produces this kind of anxiety, this edginess, this kind of panicky feeling that I think is counterproductive. And I'm going to suggest something that is somewhat counterintuitive. I'm going to suggest that when we're rushed, rushing is not the solution. Because again, if you notice, what happens is we get panicky, we get edgy, we might make more mistakes. But even if we don't make more mistakes, which often has us having to do the same thing over and over and over, we still get that panicky, rushed feeling. We might snap at people, maybe even especially the people we love. So what I want to do is suggest something that's in my book. It's called the 2% Solution. What I'm going to suggest is when we're rushed, what we want to do is actually go slower. But not a lot slower. That would create other kind of panic. 2% slower. Just do everything we're doing 2% slower. What I found is that takes that panicky, rushed edginess off of what we do. We still get to where we're going just about as fast. We still do the things we need to do, certainly as efficiently, if not more. But we don't bring that sense of, of, of anxiety, that panicky, rushed feeling to what we're doing. That allows us then to do what we're doing in a way that's purposeful, in a way that we would teach to someone we love. And have you noticed sometimes when we're in this rushed mode, those people we love and those people that are looking to us for a sense of how to do things are probably watching us. So I think teaching this to someone we love could be a wonderful perspective that we could adopt. So what I'm going to encourage you to do next time you find yourself being rushed, not enough time, being late, I'm going to encourage you not to get into the mode of rushing, but instead do everything you're doing 2% slower and see if that doesn't create a different experience that is not only more enjoyable, not only something you would teach to someone you love, but even more productive. If you want to know more about how and why I think the things I do, um, I've written a book called Life from the Top of the Mind. I have a philosophy that I go out and speak on called Life from the Top of the Mind that allows us actually to engage a very specific part of the brain when we are wanting to be productive. Um, you can go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com and put your name and address in the field on the first page. I will send you four free videos on this new perspective. If you want me to come and do a presentation to your organization about uh, uh, stress management, dealing with difficult people, leadership, customer service, anything that, that has anything to do with how the brain processes information, which frankly is everything, I would be happy to do that. Go to my website again, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the contact button, and I would love to come and talk with you about that. In the meantime, here is to you doing everything you do with more clarity, confidence, and creativity, and maybe just 2% slower. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.